my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. I am Kirsten or Kay if you want to be BFFs and I'm the face behind Kay Digital Studio. You already know what we will be doing in today's video just based off the title but I wanted to take a moment to remind you to subscribe if you haven't already and also like and comment on this video because of the algorithm. Alright, so today we will be creating our handwriting into a font. So this can be really handy if you want to type something out but still kind of have it in your handwriting. Or maybe it's just something that sounds really cool that you want to try and do. So, of course, I'm going to show you how I do it for myself. So this isn't a super professional way of creating fonts. It's really accessible and really easy to do for free or cheap. And it's great for starting out. So for this tutorial, I am going to be using my iPad Pro and my second generation Apple Pencil. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so over here at my iPad, so I'm showing you the process for how I create fonts. This is not the professional way of creating fonts. These are just kind of my workarounds and how I figured out how I can create fonts but still get the most kind of bang for my buck, if that makes any sense. So I'm going to be using my iPad Pro today and my second gen Apple Pencil. Everything I use, of course, is always linked in the description box below if you're interested. So I'm going to be using that. I'm also going to be using the app called Procreate, a website called Calligrapher, and then a little bit of GoodNotes as well. And so this is what the website looks like. You can use Calligrapher for free, so you can create fonts for free using your handwriting. However, I found that I I can't use as many characters or letters so there is a limitation with the free version of calligrapher so i don't think you can have the entire alphabet or you can't have all the punctuation there's just a cap on the number of letters and punctuation and numbers and whatnot that you can use when creating a font using this website however it's really cheap if you do want to opt for paying for it i think it's a few bucks for half a year or something and so i opted for that so you can also create different ligatures and all that stuff for these fonts as well. Okay, so once you get started with Calligrapher, you can go in and actually change exactly what you want to feature within your font. So again, I have the pro version of Calligrapher, and so I have a little bit more access to the number of glyphs that I can use, but you can go in here and select from minimal English, you can select your language, so German, French, Spanish, you can go in, select different scripts and different languages. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a download template here. You can title the name of your template, you can pull it in as a PDF or as a PNG. I'm going to select PNG because I'm going to pull this into Procreate and I found that using the PNG version works better for me. And I'm going to make sure that I have helplines selected as well as the characters in the background. So I'm going to select download. And so here it is. I'm going to select the .zip file and click download. So here it's downloading onto my iPad. I can select this, tap this to unzip it. And then here we have the three template pages that I need for my font. So what I'm going to do is select those and select the up icon, hit save image. And then I'm going to save all of the PNG files to my camera roll. So now that I have all of those in there, I'm going to open up the app Procreate. If you don't have Procreate, but you have an app like GoodNotes or something else where you can write on these templates, you can open that up and write on those templates. However, I found that I have more control over my handwriting in Procreate and I can select different brushes to use if I want to. And so that's why I like opting for Procreate. So I'm gonna select photo here and select the first photo of my template. I'm gonna make sure that I have a black color selected. And then I can go in and select whatever brush I want. So I'm just going to go in to my lettering pack and make sure I have my mono weight selected. I'm just gonna go with a mono weight here. And then what you can do is you can follow along these guidelines, but in your own handwriting. So it's just as simple as that. I'm gonna go in and kind of follow these guides, but have it be my own handwriting. You wanna make sure before you begin that you come up to your layers panel and have and select add new layer so in case you mess something up and you decide that you don't want to go with how that looks you can easily just delete or erase without accidentally erasing the photo as well All right, so now that I've completed this template, I'm going to select share 
and I'm going to save this as a PDF. Choose best. And then I'm going to select good notes, import as a new document, and I'm just going to import that into my good notes. And then I'm just going to repeat with the other templates. Go back out of my gallery. I'm going to select photo, select my new template, make sure I have a new layer selected. And I'm just going to repeat that process with this template and then the next. So with my previous template already open in GoodNotes, I'm going to actually import to current document whenever I import my second template in. And so it's just going to add the second page behind the first page of this template. And then select photo and then import the last template in, select new layer and go in with my handwriting over top of these glyphs as well. So now these kind of these templates kind of got out of order, which I don't think really matters. I'm going to go into my thumbnails and then just drag this behind that one. So now that I have that all ready to go, I'm going to select export, export all. I'm going to make sure that I'm exporting it as a PDF. Select export and save this to my files. I'm going to save that to my iCloud. And then I'm going to head back over to this website, Calligrapher. And then I am going to go into my fonts. I'm going to select new font. So this was the older font that I created using my handwriting. So again, you would create your font using that handwriting. So you can use scripts, you can print, and I'm going to select new font. Here you can kind of change the name of the font as well as different letting, lettering spacing, font size, as well as the word spacing. I normally just leave all of this the same. So I'm going to call this demo, select save, and I'm going to select upload template, choose a file. You can also select multiple files to upload. So if you don't want to go through kind of the good notes where you uh, merge all of those templates together, you can upload them individually. So I'm going to select browse and I'm going to select my iCloud drive and then select that from there and select upload. I find that this process works really well for me and I have kind of all of my templates in one place. So I'm going to upload that to the website. And so now it's going to kind of auto generate and kind of match up your glyphs with the letters that you selected. So it's kind of giving you a preview here. You can go in and delete any that you aren't satisfied with. And yeah, so this is kind of the way it looks. If you like the way it looks, we can go to add characters to your font. So here's kind of a, another look at what it looks like. So now I'm going to select build font and I'm going to select build. And so here is a preview of that font. We can go in and see kind of what it looks like in different languages. And we can also look kind of at a size comparison to how our letter sizes compare to kind of traditional web fonts like Helvetica and stuff. So this is what it looks like. And here are your font files to download. So it auto generates a .ttf, a dot OTF file and so we can go in and select both of those to download so all we do is tap and select download and here they are in our downloads from Safari. If you don't already know how to download fonts on the iPad I recommend checking out my how to install and use fonts on the iPad videos. I've created two of those an older version and an updated version. However you want to make sure that you have the app iFont downloaded so now that I have those in my downloads folder on my iPad, I can select either one and I'm going to come up here to my share icon, share that to iFont. And here we go. I will select install, hit allow, go over into my settings and install. Type in my passcode, hit install and install again, select done. And it installed to our iPad. And so now I'm going to close out all of my apps and then reopen the app that I want to test the font in to make sure it works. So let's head over into GoodNotes and see if this font works. So I'm going to find the font from my menu and we named that font demo. 
here we go as you can see demo is working so if I type hello here we have our font so this is how you create a font using your handwriting if you don't use GoodNotes and you have access to other apps that allow you to use custom fonts like Procreate, we can go into Procreate and test out the font there. So I'm going to open up a new canvas and add text. Go over and there is our demo font. And there is my handwriting in font form. So a really simple and easy way to create fonts using your iPad and free websites and software. Again, if you want to upgrade to have more access to different punctuation, upper and lower case of the alphabet, as well as any accents or fancy scripts, ligatures, you wanna make sure that you go for the pro version of Calligrapher. I found that that works really well for me and I use the pro version. However, it's super easy and simple to create your own font just using the free version of the website. So I hope this tutorial is helpful. You can go in and create all sorts of different fonts. You can try and make block fonts or script fonts. There's just all kinds of things that you can do with just your iPad, your Apple Pencil, and that website. So have fun with it. All right, that's really all there is to it. Thank you so, so much for watching today. Again, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you'll always know whenever I post next. Anyway, I will see you next week with another video. Bye.